everyone. Welcome to Norwood, Massachusetts. I'm Joe Panola alongside Nora Glenn today. We've got a great matchup coming up for you. The boys JV basketball squads of Norwood and Westwood will square off after Nora really entertaining freshman game we just yes, watched. Yes, it was. We didn't, not the, not the outcome we wanted, but um, they played hard and they, uh, they played with heart. That's it. Both teams playing hard. It was the final game of the season uh, for the Norwood squad. Westwood still has a game coming yep, up yep. against Holliston. Uh, for the Norwood JV team, this will be their final game. Mm -hmm. But Westwood, they've still got a little bit of a season in front of them. Wow. They play uh, Thursday coming up, I believe, against Dedham. Uh, and then they will also play Friday against Holliston. So a couple matches coming up uh, for the Dedham squad and Coach Keon Armstrong. And there won't be a varsity game tonight. That's tomorrow. No, yeah, correct. No varsity game. The varsity game was originally going to be played at Dedham today. Mm -hmm. uh, we will not see that game happen. It has been postponed till tomorrow. So the County Cup, as they're now calling it, ah. will be at 345 uh, here on NCAA. And they've had quite a season this year. They've done great. The Dedham team has been really good in the small school. I believe they're, they're, scared, they're on pace to win that conference. Oh, okay. So, well, um, Noah just might put the little, put the fire out. We'll see. Norwood, Bass, Norwood boys team eight and two. They've been making some noise. They've for been Coach making Kristen some McDonald. noise. And she has done such a great job with the with the boys team this season. Oh yeah, it's been it's been great. Both and I think and she has fun doing it too. Like I think she has. <laughs> I think it's you know it's obviously serious, but she uh, she just enjoys it so much. We, we talked to her when uh, Tyler Gonsalves and I did the call for the boys opening night, and she was so excited to share with us <laughs> stuff about the team. Uh, oh, no, she's, she's really a, a great person to have uh, oh, in athletics and in and so Norwood good. High School. We are so lucky to have her. <laughs> Norwood so. for co head coach Paul Nimblett in their final game of the season. We'll start number one, Dylan Hamway, number 11, Casey Sheehan, number 14, Sean Steves. Number 22, Ryan Kelly, and number 32, Brady Earl. For the Wolverines in their green uniforms, they will start number 11, Ooh. Quinn O'Brien. Number four, Thomas Stapleton. As a player goes down there for Norwood, that was Kelly. He was working against number 12, Sean Garvin. Number 25, Dylan Robertson is in the game, as is number 14, a freshman, Sean Callahan. These refs, as we saw from the uh, freshman game, they they are on it. They have eyes like hawks they and will be do. watching they any have, travels. They've watched, yep. Um, and mask, and, and the mask. Make and sure the those mask masks stay on. Dylan Hamway loves that shot in the corner. He'll kick it out for Steves at the top oh. of the yard. And Sean nice Steves is on the board. Got it off. Which is, we talked about the, uh, the, the freshman game. We didn't see a lot of threes. And we <laughs> opened with one. Oh, if you like three-point shots, you have turned into the right game. <laughs> Here's a nice move inside from Sean Garvin. He gets that to go. And Sean is on the board for Westwood with their first two points. Now Steves over to nice Kelly. Pass. Quick pass back, back, back out for Sheehan to Brady Earl. Ooh. Off the back, no good. Oh. Kelly attempts to secure the rebound, but ultimately it's Stapleton who gets to it for Westwood. And now back the other way, stopping on a dime and making that shot is Sean Callahan, his first two points of the contest. His Steves moves inside, kicks for Kelly. Again, the pivot pass to oh, Hamway, doesn't go. Sheehan again, Hamway will try another shot. Oh, in and out. And it looks like we have a violation against Norwood. We'll come back the other way. Push looks like, I believe, it went against Ryan Kelly. It is against Ryan. That's his first foul of the night. Norwood and Coach Nimblett opting to go with a full court press here. Very early on in the contest. Callahan oh. has to throw it up. And he throws it into no man's land. Good pressure from that Amway, <laughs> number one. Oh, they are active on defense today. That very quickly, very early on. And coming out shooting, we have seen this JV team looking really confident coming out of the gates in a lot of comp, uh, contests this season, and they do again tonight. There's a lob pass from Steves. Oh! And Hamway touched it while a line had, I think just a toe out of bounds, maybe. Now the ref was right there. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly from our vantage point, we probably have about the worst view. In yeah, I, I would have said, what's wrong with that? <laughs> And the ref did a nice job of getting right over there. Here's the pass inside to Garvin. Oh, it's going to go out. And it just kind of slips out of his hands, and it'll be Norwood possession. Uh, 
excuse me, green ball. Must have gone off of a Norwood player, and so Sean Callahan will oh, inbound it, it to Stapleton. Here's Stapleton kicking it over to O'Brien. Quinn O'Brien inside. Nice Brady rebound. Brady Earl with a strong rebound for the Mustangs. Here's the corner. Amway tries to fade away. Somehow kept in bounds wow. by Sheehan, and after it goes off a couple Flying. of players, it'll eventually be Callahan for Westwood. Nice hustle. Yeah. The hustle by Sean Steves to run it down, and he'll draw the foul. The foul will go against Quinn O'Brien, his first tonight. Referee explaining to Quinn a little bit about what that call was about. Which I think that's nice. Just sometimes if a kid seems confused or off. Yeah. Especially in these levels, you're trying to yes, try to teach make them, sure, right? right? We've seen the players get better even through this shortened season for both teams. Earl will eventually get it out to Kelly, who drives oh. inside. And it looks like they'll be on a foul on the floor. And it'll be number 12, Sean Garvin, picks up his first foul for Westwood. To inbound it, Ryan Kelly. Over now for Sean Steves. Steves inside for Earl. Oh. Ready Earl sees a man. I think he got a little excited about too. finding yeah, that, that was, pass um, to Sheehan. Like the idea, like the thinking of it. That was a. Uh, <laughs> the wheels were turning. They definitely were. Oh, oh one, for oh, no one. Oh, the whoa. net actually helped out there. You never see that. <laughs> What a weird play wow. as Callahan throws it into the net. He was trying to get O'Brien on the pass and an opportunistic basket for Ryan. Kelly gets him on the board. Here's Garvin for three. Nice. Doesn't go. Kelly now will Beautiful. lob this, excuse me, um, Sheehan will lob it up for Kelly. Now for Earl from behind the arc, working against Garvin, he gets inside wow. and a foul will go against Garvin. He's picked up two quick ones for the Wolverines. Such quickness, but that like bounced off the the rim and then he grabs it that was and we'll see a foul for Westwood Patrick Cassavant number 13 will enter the game as Garvin takes a seat no surprise to see coach Armstrong give him a little bit of a rest with two fouls in three minutes mm -hmm. Steves will give it up to Sheehan now we will take it from the top Amway thought about a three thought about it <laughs> now eventually we'll move it around again for Sheehan for Steves John Steves works inside against O'Brien. Oh! Could have, couldn't get it to go. Nice idea. Westwood the other way. Thomas Stapleton on over to O'Brien. Here's Quinn O'Brien against Steves. A couple players surround him. Eventually nice. he has to get it away, and Brady Earl is there to get the turnover. Here's Kelly the other way. Up and under. Oh! Gets it to go. <laughs> And a timeout for Coach Armstrong and Westwood. Norwood with a 7-4 advantage. Well, Norwood started nice and strong. That was, uh, they look very aggressive, very sharp, real <laughs> sharp. And um, I noticed a couple of Norwood families in there. I, I have to give a shout out to Brady Earl, I believe is the brother of Kate Earl, one of the captains of the girls team. And Mr. Steves is, must be the brother of Allie and Joey Steves, two <laughs> fine basketball players on the girls and boys varsity teams. And I'm not sure if I know anybody else, but those ones that stick out right now. <laughs> the Norwood connections are strong with these teams. A uh, couple siblings well, I was telling like, like families that, you know, <laughs> like they're a basketball playing family. We've definitely yeah. got a couple of those, some basketball yeah. families in this town for sure. And we've had swimming, we've had also had swimming, a lot of swimming. A lot of swim, huh? The swimming metas, oh, mm -hmm. that was a swimming lees. So we'll hopefully Noah will keep up this pressure. They look really sharp right now. And really good start there for the Mustangs. Owen DeCharnay, the lone freshman on the Mustang JV squad, will check into the game. Ah. Looks like Dylan Robertson will check in for Westwood. Number 25 is out there. Here's Thomas Stapleton. He started this game. Working against Steves, trying to direct some traffic. Ellie tries to go in for a quick pick. And let's see who it's off of. It will be off Westwood, Norwood ball. Really nice defense as Ryan Kelly closed in and he and Hamway together combined for the steal. 
Here's Steves in the middle oh. of the court. Nice second pass. Love Brady Ken, one of my favorite shots. Strong. Brady, who double doubled in his last home game with a nice start to this one. Oh. And now taking the charge is DeCharnay. And it'll be Stapleton who commits the foul for Westwood. Nor the bench for Norwood just popped up after that one. They were excited. Yeah. Brady Earl controlling near the Mustang logo. Here's Steves. Oh. He'll attempt a long two. Oh, nice. Doesn't get it to go. Oh. Kelly tried to follow up. Looks like we're kind of getting the in. same. They weren't early here for the. Calls. They weren't here for the, the freshman <laughs> game. If they had only been here, they would have known. <laughs> if you did not tune in for the freshman game, a couple players early on, the refs tried to set the tone about uh, proper mask proper wearing, map. and it looks like they'll have Sean Steves get his mask straightened out. Davian Harnett enters the game for Norwood, number ten. We imagine he'll be doing some of the handling of the ball from the point. Here's O'Brien now. For Westwood, 9-4 Norwood lead, 3.15 to go. Bounce pass on over for Callahan. Callahan inside working against oh. a couple players. No whistle and eventually DeCharnay comes away with it for the Mustangs. Oh. Stepping in the middle of that pass is Stapleton. Now finds a man in Casavant. A deep sure, three. Nice. Ooh, Coach Armstrong wanted the call there. Oh, no. This one now will go the other way and we'll see a mad dash. And I believe it will be off of a Westwood player as Manny Alongo checks in for Brady Earl. And it looks like they're gonna retrieve the basketball. That was a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. Ryan Kelly to inbound, right to Hamway in his favorite spot. <laughs> Dylan moves inside. Now back out to DeCharnet. Calling out a couple signals. Here's the first touch for Davy and Harnett tonight. Now bounce pass, some really aggressive work from Patrick Casabon on defense. Oh. Kelly Just tries missed. another shot, was looking for the call, but it doesn't go. Westwood will bring, will bring it back the other way with Sean Callahan. He sees an opportunity inside, takes it himself, and he'll draw a foul. Foul will go against Manny Alongo, his first. Callahan misses the first free throw, and we'll see a couple subs. John Cavanaugh enters the game for Norwood, as does Shane Delamere. This one nice. doesn't go. Nice rebound nice by Alongo to control it for the Mustangs. Gives it over for Delamere. We saw a lot of nifty passing out of Shane in the last oh. home match. Here's a block from Dylan Robertson as Hornet tried to drive inside, but oh. Dylan will get called for the foul and that'll send Davy into the line. Looks like Coach Armstrong will use almost a momentary timeout here. Yep. Not an official oh. one, but he'll use the opportunity to get his team to huddle up with them not having to be and in the will key. get yelled at. <laughs> Harnett misses the first free throw and now... Oh, Miss Bustler to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> they should just keep a whole bunch of masks over there. <laughs> Emery Bustler getting a mask over to Sean Steves. Imagine we'll see Sean there back out there soon. Harnett hits the free throw and he's on the board. 10-4, Norwood advantage, two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Looks like William LaRose starting to stir on the bench for Westwood. A nice pass oh, inside. Nice. Delamere eventually gets his hands on it, though. Delamere with Harnett leading the way. Oh. Goes down hard. That sounded hard. <laughs> and no calls. A couple players are helped up from the floor. Oh, is he all right? 
And it looks like Dylan Robinson staying down a something. little longer than Shane is. Coach Armstrong quick to rush out there to tend to his player. Isn't there a trainer? And Coach Nimblet will go get the trainer for the Mustangs, Bob Barksdale. Oh, looks like he's going to be all right. And Dylan gets a nice hand as he gets up over under his own power, still limping though as he walks yeah. to the sideline. Looks like we'll see a substitution. LaRose will indeed come in for Westwood, as will, will uh, William Krumsiak. So the duel of Williams will enter for Westwood. And now John Cavanaugh to inbound. Over for Harnett. Here's Davy and Harnett. Back out for Descharnay. Over to Alongo. Manny Alongo for Harnett. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Descharnay will try a three. Oh. He drills it, but he was called for the travel. Nice shot, too. Too bad. <laughs> so Westwood will have it. Owen shrugs it off and gets right back out there. Nice to see a short memory. He, he yeah. knew he made the <laughs> shot, but yep. again, didn't chirp about the call or anything nope. like that. He knew it. Here's LaRose. Pass on over for Krumsiak. And it looks oh like we're going to have God, another man. mask violation. Oh, wow, so tough. And it looks like player on Westwood didn't have his mask secured oh. property, properly. And the Is refs that the will warning, like the first warning? And then. Yeah, like you were saying before, it, they're trying to set a tone, I think. I, right? I, they really do, I think. Whoa. There's a deep three nice off the rebound. hands of Sean Callahan, doesn't go, and Alongo will get the rebound. Nice rebound underneath the basket. Going to Charnay with a minute left. Now for Delamere. Oh. Almost loses oh. the handle on it, and I think he took an extra step to go get it. Like you said, eagle eyes, they don't miss a step. <laughs> they, don't, they don't miss anything. They do not miss it. And, they uh, are and not. the refs have a better view than us, and they have been hustling out there. Yes, they have. <laughs> Working hard with those masks on, too, right? Now, slowing things down with 17 seconds left on the shot clock is Stapleton. Whoa. And Alongo won't uh -oh. let him, him get by. Same team. Manny loses it, but thankfully he's got the team right there to make sure that Norwood keeps possession. Six second difference shot. between game, game clock and shot clock. Bounce pass from Harnett into Alongo. Tries to take it himself. Oh. And an unfortunate roll, that shot doesn't go. And it looks like we'll have wow. a foul against, I believe, John Kavanaugh? John Kavanaugh will get called for it. John's first to the contest. Shot clock is off, 15 seconds for Westwood. Be nice if Norwood could keep them from not shooting, I mean, or not scoring. Let's see what Coach Armstrong draws up. Five seconds. Now on no over foul. for LaRose. Oh, Back no. out to three from Stapleton. Oh, no. He hits it. Wow. And his teammates come excitedly off the bench to congratulate him. No, and that's, uh, that's kind of sometimes the spark you need at the end of a quarter. But Talk about a big shot at the end That there. was big. That was really big. The one thing Stapleton. I wanted them to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were saying you I have didn't to think want Norwood the other getting, way. I got to think the other way. You didn't want Norwood getting the bucket there, and uh, no. or or Westwood getting the bucket there if you're Norwood. And, and they uh, get it on the buzzer, but beautiful shot and nice work by Westwood moving it around. Right. They yeah. We weren't sure where that was going to go, so <laughs> I that was a sure. well drawn up play. I wasn't sure Stapleton would get it off in time, and he did. He did. And that Westwood it. team, it looks like they're missing a couple guys as we see. And a they, couple I can't players. see the bench. Over. Yeah, we see a couple players in the. Uh, oh yeah, they're in sweats. The Westwood hoodies. So we don't so know if they're injured or. We don't know why they're out, but at least we can assume it is. It is not COVID. It's not COVID because that's true. <laughs> or that's at least I thing. would certainly hope not with them being. I, I would hope not. <laughs> well, good thing we're up here. <laughs> <laughs> so perhaps a couple. So of the here's an example. Um, they are not taking that two minutes. They right. they decide right away. I wonder. Can they add it on in the 
<laughs> Could we have an extra minute <laughs> at, yeah. at the old halftime? Yeah, they're really they're really getting us going right back right back and away. So yeah. buckle up, here we go, second quarter action. And Westwood probably did that because they were hot. <laughs> <laughs> and no one still has the lead, the but he tries to take it inside and uh, a very loud clap from Brady Earl. I think he knows it's against him. Gets a little pick me up from Casey Sheehan. That'll be the first foul of the night on Brady. And it'll send Sean Garvin into the line. All right. First one is no good from Garvin as uh, we see the quartet of rebounders. It'll be Kelly and Earl battling against Krumsiak and Callahan if there is a miss here. But Sean makes sure that that doesn't happen. He hits the second free throw. Here's Casey Sheehan inside for Earl. And I think Brady took what? an extra step. Oh, and that went in too. Yeah, he's not Travel. so sure of that. But the referee on it pretty quickly. He did. That was against us. I don't know why Wes was... Huh? I don't know why Wes was questioning. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Garvin with the ball. Sean almost checked his mask for a second. He knows they're oh, he watching. He knows he better not. <laughs> Looks like Sean is doing a good nice. job wearing oh, it, yes. though. Oh, yes. And Sean Steves will tie him up in the Battle of the Seans. And Sean, you see how he kind of like weasels? He's just like right in there. He, <laughs> he just needed a little extra. He would have gone. Possession arrow favors the Mustangs. Good aggressive work on defense, and we'll see what the fusion play now is all about for the Mustangs as Coach Nimblett calls it out from the sidelines. Now around for Dylan Hamway. Back for Steves. Moves inside. Nice pass to get an open look oh. for Sheehan, but he misses the long two. Coming away with the rebound for Westwood is Cassavant. And now we're seeing a little more run from Sean Garvin after he was in foul trouble in the first quarter. Garvin kicks it over for Krumsiak. Now William back to William LaRose. Krumsiak tries a deep two. Off the back oh, rim, no, no good, but an opportunistic rebound for Garvin. That doesn't go as well, oh, but no eventually Krumsiak gets it home. Like ping pong there. It was back up and up. <laughs> a lot of averages it has to go in eventually, and it did. <laughs> If you take enough shots, beautiful pass from Earl to find Sheehan. Okay. Oh, up and down. And Nord will turn it over. A double dribble called. Coach Nimblet does not look happy. <laughs> no. Yeah, Coach Nimblet looks up. He is not thrilled about that call. And we'll see Sean Callahan take a seat for Westwood as Quinn O'Brien enters, number 11. John Garvin continuing to get some of the looks at the point guard oh. position. Here's an open shot from three. LaRoe is oh, unable to knock it, it down. It Eventually comes into the hands of Kelly. Nice Kelly dishes for Hamway. So selfish. Beautiful second pass there. That was nice. Nice teamwork. If you at home thought that he was going to take that first mm -hmm. shot yourself, you haven't been watching this JV team enough. They have been the masters of finding the second that extra pass extra and getting pass. guys open. And it was, you know, kind of underneath, almost unassuming too, which is <laughs> A light pass that went right to him and Hamway finished strong. Looks like we'll see a foul and uh, also a mask violation at the same time. The foul will go against Casey Sheehan. The mask violation oh. will go against Krumsiak who will have oh. to sub. And attempting the free throws will be Patrick Cassavant, number 13. A little too short on the free throw from Cassavant. Here's the second of two for Patrick. He is good on that one, and Patrick Cassavant is brings on the board. In, brings it in by one. 12-11, Westwood has clawed back into this they game. Are, yep, they're just. Here's Hamway, he'll pull back up. Oh, that was that in and out. doesn't quite go, and Kelly tips it into the hands of LaRose. Now a bounce pass, LaRose somehow gets uh -oh, it out. Kicked. 
It goes off Garvin's foot eventually. Comes on over for Casavan, working against Earl, oh. but he hits a nice jump shot. Patrick Casavan starting to heat up. Coach Armstrong called out Kelly there, who was open. And so Sheehan doesn't attempt the pass, gives it up for Steves, who's back in the game. Now Sheehan slowing it down a bit. Oh, line and violation. Uh, I think Ryan Kelly's foot was just slightly out of bounds there. Uh -huh. 13-12, Westwood with their first Westwood advantage yeah. since the very early going. A three coming from Sean Garvin. Nice rebound. Eventually Brady oh, Earl no. gets the rebound and throws a long pass go. that Ryan Kelly catches up to. Oh. And a battle will result in possession arrow to Westwood, I believe. I think it is Westwood. Here's Sean Garvin, he's been around the ball a lot. Over to William LaRose, he tries a quick three. That's gonna be short. Doesn't go, Casavant though with the rebound. Kicks it out. Dylan Hamway on defense, and I think it's eventually Casey Sheehan that's going to commit the foul on the floor. Two fouls on Casey Sheehan, and that will earn him a breather as Owen DeCharnay comes in. O'Brien tries to set a pick on Hamway. Now O'Brien doing some oh. work against Steves inside. Gets the rebound. Back out to the point. Casavant over to Garvin. Takes a uh, shot. Calls it off. I think Sean traveled I there. I thought, yeah. <laughs> a lot of travels in the early going in this game coming yeah, from both sides, so. It has been consistent. Steves, oh. and getting in the way is LaRose. Coach Armstrong likes that. Patrick Casavant was also there. 19 seconds remain on the shot clock as Ryan Kelly will inbound. Kelly with time running down, eventually gets a pass off. Steves back out for Hamway for Kelly. Now Earl, Earl drives inside. Nice, oh, nice touch. It's a really nice take by Brady Earl. It was. Right to the basket, that was good. Nora, you like talking about the way they moved the ball. Nora did a nice job moving it there. They moved it very well. This three from Casavan is off the mark, but eventually Sean Garvin will run it down. He'll pass it over for Callahan. Drives inside, tries to go off Brady. the backboard. Earl secures the rebound and he as I think four different hands in his face. We'll see who the foul is on. It will be on yep. Quinn O'Brien, his second. Huh. Moving it up is Steves. Over for Kelly, he searches the pivot to get it to Descharnay. Back out Want for Steves. Oh. Sean is off the mark trying to get this game going the way yeah. he started it. Right, yes. <laughs> Here's William LaRose, kicks it over to O'Brien. Takes a pass to Callahan, now oh. inside, and yeah, Ryan Kelly knew that foul was going against him. Westwood is now in the bonus if to that foul on Kelly. Nord will sub a couple players in. Manny Alongo, number 33, is back, as is number 10, Davian Harnett. And Manny and Ryan Kelly will battle for a potential miss on the rebound with Callahan and Casavet. Yep. The shot, though, is good. O'Brien makes that a move point. It ties it up. Quinn on his second free throw makes both. Quinn O'Brien is 4 of 4 from the charity stripe. Oh, 
Here's Davian Harnett for Descharnay. Now for a long go behind the arc. Back to Harnett. He'll try a deep three. Oh. No good. Kelly tried to jump in there and make something happen. <laughs> and we'll see a substitution. Sean Callahan subs out. William Krumsiak is back in. We hope his mask is good to go now. <laughs> the things we have oh, to yeah. think about these days. I know. Huh? Yeah, something you're not doing at practice. <laughs> Garvin fakes, moves inside. Oh, that, I, and I think, did he take a couple steps? I he think he did. A lot of steps. Yeah. I mean, I think he was looking for a foul, <laughs> but I, I, he was walking all over the place. Yeah, it looks like he might have been trying to draw a foul on the Norwood player, but Garvin called for the travel. 2.20 to go here. Westwood up by one, 15 14. Oh, he oh, found a lane. And there's an open pass. Beautiful. That was it. <laughs> Really nice, calming presence. Yeah, that was, he, put that in. it was almost like Wes would stop for a moment and he goes, oh, look, I can, <laughs> I can go through. Yeah, he, had a, he had a clear path. It's almost like time stopped for Davian. Really nice work from the Norwood point guard. Here's LaRose, guarded by Dylan Hamway. Yeah, Dylan is... Hamway trying to not let him get a pass yeah, off. I know. Eventually he does to Krumsiak at the top of the key. Now back for Garvin, quick pass inside. O'Brien trying to do some work. Oh. And it looks like Alongo will pick up the foul That's and he knew bad. it. Second foul of the game on Manny Alongo. I think we might see him sub. Oh. No, don't put this kid at the line. Quinn O'Brien has made yeah. five of five tonight. John Garvin will sub out for Westwood as we see Thomas Preddy, number five, enter. Shane Delamere, Brady Earl will enter for Norwood. Good free throw, uh, free throw shoot is for Westwood. Six free throws. They've been, and they made them all? Quinn O'Brien has been huge for them from the line. Something to watch if this game gets close late, he is not a guy you want to foul. No. We'll send that message to them. <laughs> we'll relay it down to Coach Nimblet at halftime. Yep. If we keep it stats up here, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think he has an idea. <laughs> Both coaches have been... Which this is a quite, quite a close game. Very close. Westwood up one. Delamere inbounds it to Brady Earl. Now over to Harnett. Moves inside against Stapleton. Oh. Tries to kick the pass to Delamere, yeah. but I, I think the two just miscommunicated. I think a miscommunication, yeah. Mm -hmm. and Norwood, we have seen this Mustang team really get on a roll with some of their shooting. Mm -hmm. I haven't quite seen it yet, but No, that he's is, got it out so hot. Oh, that we know is in the bag there for the Blood squad. And the foul will be called against Earl to the dismay of much of the Norwood team. Yes, I thought it was such a good defensive play. Most of the team thought it was, but the foul will go against Earl. That's and, his second. Coach and as Armstrong coach, you can't be mad it. at that. You're like, okay, that's how he's supposed <laughs> to be. You know, so I teach him to play. Pretty will take the shot for Westwood. He will miss the first free throw. Pretty makes it, and it looks like he's going to get a third. Going to get a third one. And he said, "I couldn't hear what he said." One I didn't think he was left. in the active. Sh well, I guess he was. Violation got him an extra one. He misses the third one though. Should be white. And eventually, this one will go off of Pretty, and Nor will have possession down two with 70 seconds to go here. Full court press now being applied by. Coach Armstrong's Wolverine squad, oh. and it almost pays off as Casavan almost gets his hand in there. Hamway will work against a couple oh, players. Oh, 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 oh. Eventually the ball goes through his legs, and we go will wait White. for the call, and who has it? Should go to White. I believe it will. Yeah, Shane Delamere will inbound it. 19 seconds remain on the shot clock. No, now this is when Nord wants to get that last shot. Arnett comes out, uses Ooh, Kavanaugh as the uh, pivot. Uh. The shot doesn't go, and the rebound will go to Casavan. 
Sean Casavan, uh, Patrick Casavan, excuse me, has had a very nice quarter here for Westwood. And Thomas Stapleton was the one that hit the three right at the buzzer. Right at the buzzer. Okay, what number was he? We don't want him to get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, number four. We don't want to see him shooting here towards the end. We don't want him to see him shooting, no. Well, if you're a Westwood fan, you yes, want you to do, see him yes. shooting. Yes, you do, yes. His mother, father. <laughs> <laughs> You're bums. You can't be here with us in person, but mm -hmm. hope you're in being Hopefully able to enjoy the game it. on a NCM uh, Norwood Community Media, whether you're in Westwood or Norwood. And look who has the ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to pass that up. <laughs> oh, Krumsiak somehow controls it. Oh. The shot clock expires, and a very pumped-up Brady Earl claps about <laughs> it on the sidelines for Norwood. Yeah, Westwood was definitely threatening there. <laughs> Shot clock is off. Let's see what they do here. Trying maybe the three-man weave. Coach Armstrong thinks Norwood's so, at least. Not much time for Norwood. Here's Steves. Whoa. Moves inside. Shot clock oh, winding no. down. And Westwood will neither get... They will not get the bucket, neither will neither Norwood, will. and time will expire on the first half. But close game, 16 to 18. Ooh. We're down by two, but... This is no one, it's anyone's game right now. They are. Oh, for sure. Don't go away, folks. This is quite a contest. Given points, it would have to be for Westwood for this one as far as scoring. No one went the first quarter. Westwood, so we have two more to go, so we'll see. Uh, Westwood uh, outscored Norwood by five points that quarter after Norwood outscored them by three in the first quarter. So Westwood with a two-point advantage. Not a ton of foul no. trouble for both teams. We've seen no. a lot of traveling violations. Yes, a lot of... <laughs> Yeah, some things that I think coaches are like, what are we getting called for? Like, they, like it was a real fundamental, the travel, but it, it happens. Both coaches have been visibly upset at times in this contest. Mm -hmm. But we'll see if the teams make adjustments coming out of the huddle here and heading to the second half, knowing that it's going to be uh, a game that's called very tightly, but the refs have been fair about it. And been, no, been they have consistent. been fair. I'd say they've been very, they've been very they're consistent not, on both sides. Yeah. They're <laughs> I would definitely agree with that. <laughs> Coach Niblet will draw stuff up with his team. He likes to call out a lot of plays by name. Oh. And we heard him call <laughs> we heard that, and then at the very end of the last and one. And the other coach seemed to know what it was. So. <laughs> Coach Armstrong jumped up right away. He said, and that's goes, a weave. Why? That is the weave. That's the weave. And, like, well, perhaps the Because they have played each other before, so. Yes. And perhaps the cat and is I, out of the bag on that one. Do we know what the outcome was? I don't remember. Uh, I, I was not on the, on the call for that. I w oh, because it was in Westwood. <laughs> that's, why, <laughs> that's why we were on the call. That is true. They have the... I think, though, this is going to be, you know, we were talking earlier, but um, I think Westwood's going to be the new walpole Dedham rivalry. I mean, Dedham's in our... At mm -hmm. our but as far as... Uh, I think Westwood's going to be the new Walpole. Oh, yeah. I think that's the, <laughs> where it's going. Well, yeah, I used to see these kids get so amped for the Walpole games. Yeah, I remember even you. coaching volleyball. And yeah. The girls, I, I had a girl one time that said that was injured and she couldn't play, and she said... I have to miss the Walpole game. She <laughs> like, was so excited for it. Yeah, so. It means something. R it rivalries does. are not dead. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and the thing when you switch conferences is maybe you're right. Maybe, you're maybe right. you just make some new ones. Well, and I think where Walpole is right next door, it's there's definitely a, mm -hmm. you know, and say no, some of the kids too. I'm sure they've played in, right. in leagues and different things. But, um, yeah, the proximity is also part of it, I think. <laughs> Yeah, you're not really going to get a geographical rivalry with Bellingham. Or yeah, Arsenal, no. <laughs> say, even though, you know, those schools still field really good squads. And we have Dedham, so we're okay with that. <laughs> well, Dedham so. will be a great game for the varsity team tomorrow. Yes. That should be an exciting one to watch, and we hope you'll tune in. Let's see if Sean Steves can start the second half the way he did the first. Well, he'll draw a foul. It'll be the third foul against Quinn O'Brien, so a, a quick third foul against one of the Westwood players. Only four seconds into the contest he committed that one. Yeah, that was quick there. We'll see if Cope Armstrong oh, elects to go. stick with him. They've been guarding Dylan Hamway closely, not letting him get to the spot he loves on this close corner of the court. They're trying to get it back to him. <laughs> Here's Earl. Oh. Nice to see Dylan Robinson back, uh, Robertson back in the game for Westwood. He uh, 
fell to the ground hard, got up under his own power, but number 25 back in the contest for Westwood. So Noah's got to be quick here. They only have seven seconds left in the shot clock. So let's see what they do. This is tricky. Steves gets it. I don't know what he called. And Norwood will turn it over. Uh. Stapleton takes it up now for Westwood. Kicks it over to Garvin. Moves inside, guarded by Sheehan. Ah, he moves again. And he took one step too many. They, hey, are quick to call that. Well and he said. knew it as soon as he did it. He's like, oh. yep. At this point, I think the players know that this is this is a reality. They have the, to. The, yeah, right. They have to be aware that these refs will be on it. On the slightest miscue, they'll be ready. Yep. Even just like the, you know, the little line violation. I don't think we're going to be seeing many Euro steps this game. Oh, Back out, uh, Steve's just couldn't find yeah. the handle on it as it gets to Garvin. Coming the other way is Stapleton. This shot doesn't go. Eventually, Garvin tries to put it up. There you go. Brady Brady's Earl got it. secures the rebound for Norwood. Good work after that. Gets a couple players out of whack. Hamway is off from three. Oh, and another mask, mask violation. violation. We're going to yeah. see Sean Steves have to sub out again. And they say that the mask is not on, and that he's not wearing the mask properly. Get us up, get us and up. So Davian Harnett will need to spell Sean. See what happens here. Westwood will bring it up. Harnett, Harnett now in the game, number 10 for Norwood as he sub he subs for Steves. Moving inside is Stapleton oh. and he gets it to go. Thomas Stapleton has five tonight. Westwood with their biggest lead of the evening, 20 to 16. Oh. Earl moves oh. inside. And Earl will be called oh. for the charge. It was Robertson that drew the charge. And a frustrated Brady Earl gets some words yeah. of encouragement from his teammates and will head back the other way. They get to shake it off though, they can't. That is Brady's third foul of the contest. The guards for Westwood will switch sides. Stapleton and Callahan controlling it. Now inside for Cassavant off the front go. of the rim. Earl eventually secures the rebound, oh. and he will get fouled. <laughs> Brady's on fire. <laughs> It'll be Sean Garvin called for the foul. Well, just as Brady picked up his third, now Sean picks up his third for Westwood. So now let's see if Norwood tries the weave here with Descharnay, Hamway, oh. and Harnett. Threw it away. Instead, Hamway can't connect with Kelly, and he'll throw it out of bounds. Sub will enter as Brady Earl gets a breather. Manny Alongo enters for Norwood. Six minutes to go, 20 to 16. Norwood, uh, Norwood trailing Westwood. Here we go. Nice play Devin by Harnett. Dylan Hamway to get that steal. Harnett was there too on defense. Yep. And now the freshman to Charnay. Inside for Ryan Kelly. Coach Niblett likes that take. He likes that and one. He'll get to the line. He'll go to that. Coach Blood always so animated. You can hear him here. He yeah, brings a lot of energy. <laughs> a quick free throw from Ryan Kelly go doesn't go. Ryan Kelly with his second. Oh. No good. Deshaunay go. gets a hand in the way that gives Nord possession again, though. All right, we'll take this. Let's see what they'll do with Davine Harnett. He finds his way around Casavan. Now takes on the whole team. Nice. By Eventually, Manny. it's Olongo, oh. and Manny will head to the line. Nice rebound by Manny Longo. Foul will go against Sean Callahan, his first. I thought Davine took on the whole squad. There. I know. He just <laughs> did. He went in by. Oh. And Yolando misses the first. Yeah, Manny was ready for that rebound. He, was. he had the he whole was Westwood team crashing. And 33 in, in good position to grab the rebound for the Mustangs. 
Here's Manny's second. Nice eye. And that one is good. Really good looking form for the sophomore for Norwood. 527 left on the clock. Inside now for Robertson, working against Delongo. Yeah. And Robertson gets a little help from the rim. Dylan is on the board tonight with two points. And Westwood now up five. Oh. Charnay, nice play by Stapleton, but Owen gets it right back. Now working against a couple guys. Oh. I think he didn't mean to. Yeah, I, I think that was an errant whistle. whistle. Yeah. Yeah, the refs not using the typical mm -hmm. whistle these right, days. Right, I know. It took me about three games to see to think about that. I was like, well, it's right, they're not. So I get they'd be quick to <laughs> Yeah, they've got those handheld. I mean ones, that's so something else they, they had to be it. That's something else they had to be like learn. Like I mean, mm -hmm. they're so used to What is this? We'll see what the confusion uh -oh. about as the refs talk things over. Amory Busser. I don't know what we'll that find is. out in a little bit what that's all about. And Norwood will inbound it. Back to basketball. Here's there we Dylan go. Dylan Hemway. Well, I don't know what that was. So we'll just. <laughs> <laughs> We shall talk about that. <laughs> we'll let them sort it through. Moving inside is Sean Steves, and Sean will draw a foul. The foul will go against Cassavant. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And Steves will hit the first. Nice work from Sean Steves. We, we see that he's kind of had a short memory, which is good, because mm -hmm. he's okay. been kind of called out in the mask violations right. a couple times. Oh, whoa, oh, I think Manny might have went over the top on that. <laughs> and I, I think we might have heard Coach Armstrong <laughs> yell for the over the back. But he's just trying to play the game. <laughs> he's really just trying to be Manny with some physical gifts, and he has <laughs> some great height, but sometimes yeah. that can be a disadvantage. Yes, it can be. As he reached over the like back Like, I just want to go there. <laughs> oh, Stapleton there just loses the ball. Now he'll chase down Steve's the other way. Sean dishes for there Kelly. There we go. And Ryan Kelly puts it home. Nice capitalizing on a little Westwood, you know. Points in transition. little mistake. Brings him within two. Now we see the team starting to get a little more vocal. And sometimes you want a little spark like that. You know, <laughs> when you capitalize on their mistake. Presti oh, with the extra pass. Now over in the corner, the attempt doesn't go for Stapleton. Back out, here's Callahan for three. That doesn't go as well. Stapleton uh, with the rebound. Get Still it back, though, right. eventually, Nord will get a hold of it. Wow. And Steves kicks it over for Hamway. Dylan comes back, now gives it for Ryan Kelly. Oh, just short. Shot doesn't go, and a very surprised Sean Callahan looks like he will get called for the foul. And two shots coming for Ryan Kelly, second foul on Callahan. There we go. Ryan sinks the first. This brings it all within one. A couple of subs coming in. Krumsiak will re-enter for Westwood and go right to one of the blocks, as will Quinn O'Brien. Second shot coming for Kelly. There we go. Makes both. All right, brand new game, ties it up. Tie contest with just under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Ryan Kelly with eight points. He's Norwood's Whoa, leading scorer. Oh, nice steal. And now Sean Steves oh, lays it up and in off the steal. Such quick hands. I think we're starting to see this Norwood team get a little bit of life. Excellent defensive play wow, by Sean no. Steves to come up with a steal and then finish with the points in transition. Right, finish with the points. Oh, there we go. Now the pass inside from Prenny doesn't find a Westwood teammate. And Steves will kick it out. Desharnay thought about the three. Thought about it. Now Alongo inside. And Manny is fouled and will head to the line. 
what it feels. Nor it feels like that pendulum is swinging towards is. Norwood right now. Let's hope. Let's, let's hope it's. Oh, and Coach Preston's going to call a timeout when they. Yeah, they I know think, the pendulum's swinging. <laughs> I think Coach Dion Armstrong. Which is actually Armstrong what a coach would do. I mean. Thought the yeah. same way. He takes a timeout and he'll bring his Westwood team in close. You know, and sometimes you can capitalize on. You hate to say it, capitalize on Westwood's mistake and just a little spark they need sometimes. Yep. Well, hey, Norwood is only playing against one team, so anything bad for Westwood is good for Norwood. That's right. <laughs> and vice versa. So you want to keep that up. And, of course, sometimes when you take a timeout, it throws off the rhythm. But yep. they seem to have it down now. <laughs> I think they seem to have it down. Well, especially right before a free throw, too. We could see if that yeah. might affect things. From coaching volleyball, I always used to tell the girls that if someone called a timeout on your serve, they were scared of you. That's right. So... <laughs> Because even though you're like, no, no, you're like, no, that's there. <laughs> that's a compliment. <laughs> I've done that myself to try to uh, <laughs> right, cause like, other oh, teams oh, to this one's almost going ice again. them. <laughs> yeah. Coach Nimblet, the volleyball coach for Norwood for that's boys right. and girls, so he knows you, that Hopefully well you'll as have well. a season coming up very soon. You know, he's very excited nice. about that. And Vinny you'll be Alongo at the, uh, makes the free throw. You'll be at the helm with him. So that will start after vacation uh yeah i believe we'll have tryouts uh starting right after vacation and it looks like and have you gotten your covid your new covid foul. rules uh the new covid rules yeah. you're saying for uh volleyball. yeah they, they've started coming out with them so we got sent a document for volleyball coming up and we'll have to page through that i imagine a lot of the as clumsy i could there we go. The, uh, the layup there that's a lot of the same kind of things with is the it, yeah. wearing and, and distancing. And yeah, which you kind of do that in volleyball anyway, so. Yeah, I was curious if Oh. Olongo goes up for it, has, has a swat, no call, but eventually we do get a foul. And this foul, though, will go against Norwood to Coach Nimblet's chagrin. Norwood picks up their fifth team foul, and it will go, it will be the fourth against Manny Olongo. Manny's had a strong game, but. Yeah. He's been, great he's, under the, he's been great under the basket. Yeah, sometimes he's no stranger to foul trouble, though. Yeah, he will, unfortunately. He will take a little bit of a breather. Get a for term four, uh, quarter four. Ryan Kelly will also sub out. John Cavanaugh re-enters the game for Norwood, as does number two, Shane Delamere. Here's Stapleton trying to make something work and Ooh. makes this shot over Cavanaugh. Seven points tonight for Thomas Stapleton. He's the leading scorer for Westwood. Now Steves trying to wow. keep his dribble. He somehow manages to. Gets it over to Descharnay. Top of the key, oh. Kavanaugh has his pocket picked and he traveled. I saw Coach Armstrong pop so. up. I thought he thought there was a foul on the Westwood team. Oh, which is which is too bad because they had kind of a rhythm and they stopped them. <laughs> oh, well. Well, Westwood, no surprise to see them slow it down as Stapleton makes his way up the court. Amway almost Amway got almost a hand in that. there on the pass to LaRose. William LaRose out to William Krumsiak. Back for Stapleton. A couple of nifty moves from Thomas nice. Stapleton. Shot just missed and Steve secures the rebound. One point lead for Norwood. Oh. Minute 50 to go, and a nice play by Stapleton, getting the steal, and he finishes on the other end. These two have been battling out, I think. Nine tonight for Thomas Stapleton. Going to Charnay. Amway does a nice job keeping it in play. Gives it for Kavanaugh. Bounce pass for Delamere. Kavanaugh to Hamway, back to to Charnay. Now Steve's a long three. It's short. Nice. Oh. Doesn't go and it just goes off Kavanaugh the fingertips of oh, Kavanaugh nice. and stepping out of bounds is LaRose. And Nord will get it. That was a nice think. defense by John Kavanaugh. Yeah, really good job of staying upright, not committing the foul. Yeah. And he gets the possession for Norwood. Sean Steves will get a breather as we see Davian Hornet re-enter. Over for Hamway, back to Harnett. Oh. Really close to a steal there as Patrick Cassavant working against him. Now it's Delamere. Shane moves inside, nice take. 
Nice rebound oh, with John Kavanaugh. Oh, the bench was ready for that to go in. Shane All back by himself. Hornet. Yes, nice. Here's a three. That was a nice setup by Noah. That was good setup. He was Davian all by himself. Hornet has six. And now an opportunity for the uh, Mustangs. We'll see who it goes off of. It is white ball. Norwood will get it. A huge three in the waning that moments was, of this yes. third quarter for Davian Harnett. And now Norwood will try to add more to their total. Here he is again, number 10. Works his way around Stapleton. Now around a couple other oh, guys. Oh, get two. What a game Davian Harnett is having. He's got eight. Both of Norwood, Norwood's point guards, Harnett and Steves, having great games tonight. Yes. Shot clock is off with 15 seconds left. Krumsiak inside. He'll nice. take the All shot. Right. And now Nord with 10 seconds to get another shot off before the end of the quarter. Uh-oh. Five seconds. Harnett inside. Shaking, yes. baking, and he nice makes it. job. So he's just got seven points in the last, like, minute himself. Seven points in the last minute, I think, is right. I Devin think, I think Harnett. just Devin. Wow, <laughs> you talk, a guy who, talk about a guy who came to play. That's right. <laughs> we'll take that. And that brings us to 32-26, which... Um, it's still not enough because this game is <laughs> Westwood can turn it, I'm sure, but um, great way to go into the fourth quarter. So you get the little momentum, you got their they got a good rhythm going. Um, Let's see if they can keep that rhythm going. That's what they want. Devian came off the bench today, and that just goes to show you yeah. never know when your number is going to get called. That's right. And he was ready and when you have his to number be ready. got called today. <laughs> you have to be ready. Although they do seem all pretty ready, so. Well, Westwood has already committed seven fouls. So that will be something to watch as we head into the fourth quarter. Again, as we know, that foul shot is so important. Mm -hmm. um, Norwood only two away from putting Westwood in the bonus. Couple players to watch. Manny Alongo has three fouls for Norwood. Brady Earl, I'm sorry, four fouls for Norwood. Brady Earl has three. Oh, Manny has four. Oh. Quinn O'Brien with three. Sean I got Garvin our big guys four. underneath the basket, but that's all right. I think we've got enough to to cover so it. Coach Nimblet. Perhaps worried about his rim protectors picking up some fouls. We'll see if Coach yeah. Armstrong asks his team to go hard at the rim here. And he may, because I'm sure he knows how many fouls there are. <laughs> so entering our fourth and final quarter. No, it is 32 up to 26 to Westwood. Westwood will have the ball. William LaRose will get the start in this quarter for Ian Armstrong's Wolverines oh. and now throwing it off the hands of Delamere is Garvin. And, uh, Which, uh, that's fine. I like that defense like that. No foul right defense. It went out, but that's okay. And almost strange. I thought it was a turnover for a second the way they were yeah. walking it out, but no inbounding underneath the basket. That's, so that's right. That's why we see Quinn O'Brien inbounding it from the side. And Westwood now only has 26 seconds on the shot clock. There's O'Brien again, 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. Tries to drive oh. inside and Kelly gets the steal. But there's a foul. Foul on the floor. Oh. It'll be the fourth okay. foul against O'Brien. And Norwood is in the bonus. Beautiful. And I think these, are, these points are so important. Um, I just think these are almost like, I don't wanna say gimme points, but like if you get the points here, just save them. Ryan oh, Kelly misses all right, the nice, first, all right, we'll nice take job it. by Brady Earl to get the rebound. And let's put it on the hot hands of Davian Hartnett. <laughs> yeah, just keep letting Davian shoot it. He's, oh, oh look, look where at this. he is. He's right at the, Pass inside, oh. and he thinks about the extra oh, pass to that Casey was, Sheehan. Talk about knowing where to go. Oh, Davian's court vision right now has been so good. We'll see if they control it the other way. Now moving inside is LaRose kicks it out for Garvin. Short. Off the side of the rim, no good. Nice hustle by Sean Garvin <laughs> to get his hands on that ball. And possession arrow will favor the Mustangs. 32-26, a little bit over seven minutes to go as we start this fourth quarter. This one has the feels of a game that will come down to the wire. I think it, I, I don't know, I have a feeling it is. Like Westwood is, Westwood's not going away. 
Arna dribbles that one off of Garvin's foot and somehow gets it back. There's Delamere back for Harnett. Moves Going inside. In. Oh, oh, he's just got short. some nice. oh, there we go. right now. She tips it just enough to get it to Delamere. And now he's on the other Hornet side again of the court. Moves inside. Oh, that was going in. And Devian has called for the travel. Well, he wants it right now, though. Doesn't look at Yeah. He is Playing all over with the a court. lot of confidence. Devian Harnett for Norwood. Now here's William LaRose. Guarded by Shane Delamere. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Sean Garvin nice deep out beyond the arc. Oh, Almost yeah. gets it stolen by Kelly. Now comes back. Kicks it on over for Cassavant. Patrick Cassavant oh, inside is good. Eight points tonight for Patrick Cassavant. He's been a reliable scorer for the Westwood team. Now Earl sees an opportunity inside, oh. takes it, doesn't go. Can't reach and it. a little bit of contact down low with Robertson and a couple Norwood players. Nothing called. Oh, Cassavan, no. though, comes back the other way. Westwood is says, chipping away. Double digits. Ten for Cassavan, two-point Norwood lead. Earl will try it again inside. And Brady earns the foul. Robertson doesn't like it as the ref has a couple words for him. Oh, so the basket doesn't count. He just gets the shots. Basket will not count for Brady Earl. The foul but against Dylan Robinson, he will his be second. At shot clock. And Brady will shoot one and one with the foul on the floor. Free throw whistle. doesn't go, and now yeah. after Krumsiak gets the rebound, LaRose will bring it back the other way. One possession game, two point Westwood lead. Oh, nice block. And there's block. a solid block. Nice job by Kelly, and Hamway was there as well defensively. What now? And now another foul as Coach Armstrong whistles. follows him out. Tonight. And he knows who that one's against. That's against Quinn O'Brien, and that's his fifth. Ooh. Well, I believe it's his fifth. Uh, we just heard it. <laughs> it is his fifth. And oh. Quinn will, will take a seat. That's too bad for Westwood. They have. Good Ryan. for us. <laughs> Good for us. Too bad for Westwood. <laughs> He's been a hot player for them. Oh. Earl misses the first free throw. Yeah, Quinn O'Brien is six of six from the free throw line. He's a guy you'd like on the court at the end of the game. Yes. Unfortunately, he will not be able to play anymore tonight. Here's Brady's second. Arky Good, nice free throw rebound. eventually comes to Kelly, who gets the rebound. Oh. Almost a miscommunication. Steves gets to it. Now Steves working against a couple players. Comes inside, finds Kelly. Oh, what Doesn't a good go. idea. Rebound to Earl. And Brady Earl is getting comfortable at the free throw line now. Okay, he will be there again as another foul is committed by the Wolverines. <laughs> Based on the reaction, it looks like it'll go against Sean Garvin, and that's five against that five Garvin. That's five for him? Whoa. Oof. Trying to get the identity of the foul. Coach Armstrong thought it was against a different player. He contends it was on Cassavant, but Garvin will sub out. There we go. And Brady Earl now. He's gotten some practice and now yes he's he's warmed up <laughs> ready to make a couple shots he's been very aggressive near the hoop for the mustangs great right under the basket with another trip to the line there we go brady hits both of those free throws he's up to nice. six points tonight and more importantly gives norwood a four-point lead at the moment five minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter of action 34 30 in favor of the mustangs Here's a three nice, that's right off into the Dylan mark Hamway's from Callahan. Hand. Hamway secures it out to Steves. Thought about the long pass to Sheehan. Steves working wow. against Cassavant. Can't get by him. Gets it over to Hamway instead. Dylan with a oh. strong pass, and it just goes ah. off of Earl's hands. Oh, Brady just looked at his hand. He just, yeah, he just like. <laughs> 
It was a great so, idea. It was a great idea. Why didn't you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> He knows that Brady is as uh, good a competitor as they come. Stapleton will bring it the other way now for Westwood. He's always dangerous, especially from behind the arc. Yes. Now to Keep Westwood out of that three-point land. Cassavant. Back to Stapleton. Stapleton guarded by Sean Steves. Steves not afraid to go in. Seven seconds left in the shot clock. Oh. With five, Stapleton gets it up, doesn't go. Couple oh, players no, converge for the rebound. Stapleton will put another up. All right, here we go. And eventually Ryan Kelly comes back the other way. Oh no! Stapleton picks Thinking his pocket. Westwood. And we're heading the other way. That was quick. Inside move. Oh. Good patience from Sean Callahan. He had a bucket like that early on in the game and now hits his second field goal. Nice work from number 14 for the Wolverines. Very tight defense by the Wolverines here. They are really playing tight. Oh, nice three. We needed that right but now. There's something that we haven't seen yet today that yep. we might start seeing a lot of. Uh, Dylan Hemway with the three. That was a nice time to get it. <laughs> nice time to get it. We know this team, this Norwood Mustangs team can get hot in a hurry. They are up five. They are extending their lead. Oh, foul on the Norwood team. And a foul against the Mustangs. Push. And that will be the fifth foul, it looks like, on Casey Sheehan. I'm sorry, the scoreboard is wrong. Oh. Only the fourth foul oh. on Sheehan. So he still has Would one. They all give. <laughs> and I think Sean oh. Steves will pick up a foul there. Wow. The basket counts for. Will Krumsiak. One shot. So here comes the and one as Steve commits his first foul. Oof. It's good. Clutch basket and free throw made from William Krumsiak. He has five this evening. Two point Norwood lead. They get over. A lot of movement one. and Coach Nimblet takes a timeout. Oh. Well, Nora, maybe he saw something he wants to change. Yeah, I, I, something because uh, Westwood's trying to creep back now. <laughs> yeah, Man, they're, they're very... always knocking on the door. <laughs> this is a, this is going down the wire, going down the wire. <laughs> We've been saying that all game, and <laughs> it's just been back and forth. Yeah, one team gets a little hot, the other team gets a little hot. Um, both teams defensively are just so quick to, to try, like, steal steal the ball. Yeah. So. They have been right on it. A very and... evenly matched game. Back and forth, the coaches have been really into it. Although Westwood now with a couple players that won't be able to see the court right. in late game situations as O'Brien and Garvin have no. both fouled out. Is that gonna be a detriment to Westwood? Um, or nice. how deep is their bench? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out. We know they have a couple players out with injuries it seems. Mm -hmm. Norwood also with uh, a player out on injury, yeah. Conrad Schletzbaum. Oh, Schletzbaum, I I, thank you. I was like, who is that behind the mask? <laughs> Kayshawn Noel also is uh, is not here. So a couple of Norwood's important big yeah. men in the post between Schlesbaum So Norwood's got to stay sharp here and make make every 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 play count. And free throws and, will be important, presumably and down watch the those line. fouls. Kelly gets the inbounds away to Steves. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Casey Sheehan. Remember, Casey has four fouls in this contest. Oh, and I think he took an extra step. Move that foot. Yeah, we saw that right foot kind of move yeah, a couple hit. times, and the refs were right I on it. I think he tried to cut it with the other one to move it around, but. Sheehan turns it over, and now a chance for Westwood to tie it up. We're under three minutes here in the fourth quarter. Westwood in the bonus. Norwood is in the double bonus, as Westwood has already committed 10 fouls in this half. Stapleton takes it in. Keep it in. And Good. eventually Hamway is nice able to Hamway. get it to a nice player. Nice by Hamway. Nice play by Dylan. She oh. somehow gets that pass right, that off. Should be Let's white. see who it went off of. And it looks like it went off of William LaRose. And Ryan Kelly white. will get to inbound it. Norwood will keep it. 21, 21 seconds, seconds left in the shot clock. Into Hamway. Out for Kelly. Oh no, and that oh, was a he miss. Just and he lost that. control and Stapleton just gotta... was there. Nice play by Thomas Stapleton at the steal. 
No, I think he's going to be really important for Westwood yeah, down the line. That here. was a bouncing around. Brady, Earl of Brady Earl has it. Got to stay in bounds. And he kicks it out. Here's a two-on-one chance. In for Hamway. Takes nice. it himself. Okay. Dylan Hamway has seven, and we have two minutes to go, and we have a four-point Norwood lead. John Callahan with it. Excuse me, Thomas Stapleton. Steve. And Steves gets the steal. Nice steal. Long pass up to Kelly. Kelly takes oh. himself. Doesn't nice go, spike. but Beautiful. Casey Sheehan, an opportunistic rebound. He gets on the board. Right. And a timeout from Keon Armstrong and Westwood. All right, that was a nice little run by Norwood. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of get the little, we got them going again. And the Norwood fans approve of it too. We have, a, <laughs> we have a small bunch of us, but very excited as what yes. just happened there. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> it's so quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> it gets very quiet and at a yeah. time where you would normally hear the student section. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, why aren't those cheering. people making more noise over there in the senior <laughs> section? <laughs> we do have our wonderful fan cam at home, so. Um, oh, I hope it's going. <laughs> these, these students and the teachers have, uh, and the Spirit Club, thanks to. Yeah, uh, well, we tried. Well, actually, it was NCM's idea. I just got the people together. <laughs> she go, he goes, can you do it? I go, I can find people. I will find people. So, yeah, not, the teachers did a great one. They did a nice one. Not an easy year to uh, drum up spirit, but yet the Spirit Club still does we're it. We're trying. We're trying. It's, it, it has been a little hard. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Um, well, they have still made their impact with the signs and the cutouts and the fan cam. Stapleton tries to take it inside. Is that a foul? And it looks oh. like there's a push foul against yeah. Norwood. Let's see who it's on. This foul is like It'll be on Steves. That's his second of the game. Eighth team foul against the Mustangs, and that will send Staple to the, Stapleton to the line, shooting one and one. All right. Oh, Doesn't go. Nice rebound, though, from he Callahan. Go. He's open three from three. Land. Tries it. Oh, Doesn't go. Nice rebound. Strong rebound from Casey Sheehan. And now we see the press is on still for Westwood. Steve's almost loses his dribble. Does a nice yeah. job controlling. Oh, right there. Now here's Sheehan inside. Nice. Gets okay. it to go. It beautiful. Even with four fouls, Casey Sheehan has been clutch here in the last part of this game. And no fouls is a key. Oh, they Here's a three. a three from Casavant. Doesn't go, oh, but a strong be, rebound from Krumsiak. And I think right. that foul is going to be against gonna Brady Earl. It. it will be Brady's fourth foul of the game. Man, you better get ready. <laughs> and with a minute and four seconds left, that will send Krumsiak to the line. Which in basketball is a lot of time. <laughs> it really is. Rumsiak hits the first free throw. He's got a really good looking shot, number yeah, it was 32. Yeah, a nice shot. He'll take his second. Kelly and Earl will attempt to secure the rebound if there is a miss. He makes the second. Will Krumsiak with seven. And we're gonna have some, another timeout. The timeout, the coaches will talk things over. With one minute. Nor you've been saying all game, this one's gonna uh, come down to the It's going down, it's going down. I think <laughs> I've seen a couple of, I mean, they. This JV team is just fighting so hard. They are, they are not give up. And just when you think it's one player, then somebody else comes and comes along. They're, they're a fun team to watch, aren't they? They're really fun to watch. And they take that energy, a lot of it, from their coach. We see Coach Nimblet, that's not a new sight, pumping his fist in the <laughs> middle of that huddle there. He is ready to go. I'm sure huh? he just wishes he could be out there on the court uh, with him. I bet he is. <laughs> Yeah, as a coach says, sometimes it's hard. like, you can't play for them. <laughs> <laughs> Nor we will have the same crew out there. Kelly, Earl, Hamway, Sheehan, and Steves. It will be Krumsia, Callahan, LaRose, Stapleton, and Casavan. And we have possession. Okay. Westwood, Nor with the ball. They'll run out of a stack. Quick pass from Earl, pivots to Hamway. Couple players oh. converge in on Dylan. And the timeout is taken by Coach Nimblet. But what was the Westwood coach so. Did he I think, think the he the Westwood went out of coach bounds? thought he stepped out of bounds oh. on the close end? I didn't think he did. That was a. Nice work by Dylan to get away from there. And we are now under a minute. 
you know, both teams, like nobody wants to foul, but someone's going to have to foul. Well, the way things stand, it looks like it'll be Westwood that may have to foul. I think so. But a very important possession coming up for Norwood. We'll see if they try to milk some clock or if they try to get a quick shot off. Uh, well, I'm sure they're going to try to, well, I, should, I shouldn't say that. I don't know. <laughs> I would say try to waste a little time on the clock, but they're ultimately going to get fouled. Yeah, if they I'm sure don't. they'll. That's why it won't last that long. Well, we'll see. All right, everybody keep your mask on. We don't want to <laughs> we don't need, we don't need mask violations now. Don't want to see many of those. For the players on the court for Westwood, they, they do not have a lot of guys in foul trouble. They do have two that no, have No, not now. They, unfortunately, they. So they have kind of already hit their foul trouble today. A couple players converge in on Steve's. Oh. And I think it did go off the hand I of LaRose, it. just trimming his pinky. And Nord will keep possession. Ryan Kelly to inbound. Looking for a man, finds Steves. 19 seconds left in the shot clock. Sheehan, here's Hamway. Back to Sheehan, hey, yep. and the foul will send Casey Sheehan you to the line. You can always hear the coach say, do it now. <laughs> yeah, Coach Armstrong was quick with the call, and, uh, and they did foul. After a little confusion, the foul will be on. That's a very stressful team. job, having to keep track of fouls and how many. Like, you, you have to make sure you're. Nice job. Big plus free throw from who else in this fourth quarter? Casey Sheehan. He's been great. He has been. I think it was Davian Hartnett in the third, and now it's. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking turns. Talk about nice. different players Here stepping up. Sheehan makes it again. Casey oh, has six points tonight. It. Coach Nimblet does not want a foul here. He no, does not no want to send to the line. Wanna. Stapleton is off Let the mark. Go. This one Ooh. goes out of bounds. And did he know that that was not a... <laughs> yeah, it looks like Patrick Casavent just roundhouse kicked the barrier. I think, yeah, I, I hope he knew it wasn't, it wasn't one of these blue ones. <laughs> he pops right back up. He's young. All right, no, there we go. Now again, Earl serves as the pivot. Oh. And they're going to call a costly wow. travel against travel. Ryan Kelly. So okay, Westwood would get it back. I didn't see that one. <laughs> 4.6 seconds are the difference between the game clock and the shot clock. And no Moving fouls. inside, now attempting a long three is Cassavan. It doesn't go. There we go, go. all right. Nice rebound from Earl. Okay. And Stapleton thought he traveled, but I think Thomas will have the I foul he, called against him. I think he him. fouled him, yeah. He will, and a couple big free throws coming up for Brady Earl as we see Manny Alongo getting set to check in. Looks like it might be a, a five, five, five. Nice, all right. Brady makes the first. He's up to seven tonight, and uh, you talk about wholesale, I think we're gonna get everybody switching we're gonna get in. get everybody in. Desharnay, Harnett, Kavanaugh, and Delamere join Earl on the court. Second free throw off the mark. John Kavanaugh, oh, nice. Kavanaugh gets the nice rebound. rebound. Delamere now in front of a couple of Westwood players. One of them will commit the foul. I think it was Cassavan. So on that, it's almost like two of them were fouled. It was like. It is not. It was Callahan called for the foul, number 14. And Shane Delamere at the line. <laughs> First one off the mark. A couple of words of encouragement from his teammates. Mm -hmm. Brady Earl will sub out. Manny Alongo re-enters the game. Second coming from Delaware, nice. and it's good. Uh, I think this is good. Shane on the board. 18 seconds left. Shot clock off. Let them get Westwood a three. Let them just get a three. It's fine. Shot from three. Doesn't go for LaRose. Foul. And it looks like it went off of a Norwood player. Oh. Callahan will inbound it. Nine and a half seconds to go. Ten point Norwood lead. Here's a deep three attempt. Off nice. the mark there from Cassavan. <laughs> okay, kick it up. So, all right, nice job. And an exclamation mark on the season <laughs> for 
the Norwood JV yeah, boys absolutely. basketball Absolutely, that was team. a nice 10, point, 10 points. That's good. This game was back and forth for a while, Nora, and the free throw shooting at the end it, it enabled them to stretch it out to a nice win. Really did. And um, lot, we saw plays. We saw everybody play. We saw everybody play hard and well. Yeah. In a great way to end their season. Fantastic game all around. Davian Harnett was huge off the bench for off the bench, uh, especially Norwood. in the uh, third quarter. Oh. Third quarter, he was hot. <laughs> David had 10 points tonight. He was Norwood's leading scorer. Contributions all really around. Casey Sheehan had a great fourth quarter. Beautiful. Um, Brady Earl securing some I mean, just rebounds. their defense. They, was, was, they, they took advantage of the um, turnovers. Um, you know, they played very well as a team. Very well. Like you said, fun team to watch. Very fun team to watch. They were a fun team to watch as we see Coach Niblett talking things over in the Norwood's final game. Westwood still has a couple coming up at the mm -hmm. end of the week, Thursday and Friday. And they are a good team. They are a very good team. They are, and uh, Coach Armstrong gets into it as well. He did a nice job with his bunch. Um, but great win for the JV squad. Great season for them. Right. Glad we could get through it. I, I am. I'm glad. <laughs> glad we got it in. So, again, it was a, it was a fun season. And from uh, all of us here at NCM, we hope that you've enjoyed watching our coverage. Uh, I think we still have a couple games coming up. Uh, the a couple of the hockey, hockey teams, teams still yep. playing. Gymnastics, the swimmy, is, uh, gymnastics, I believe, is over, but they'll be finished. they'll be playing them. And I think swim has another meet, so mm -hmm. they'll be they'll be on too. They, again, they're another one, not live, but they will present them after, so you can see the swimming and gymnastics. So you can certainly check those out uh, on NCM. And so, we really want to thank NCM. Yeah, they've done such a good job, the folks here. Uh, Brian Boudreau, our producer, Brian mm -hmm. Dunn. Uh, and our camera operator tonight, yeah. Mike O'Donnell. Thank Thanks you, to Michael. all of them. <laughs> uh, and for Nora Glenn, I'm Joe Panola. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks. Uh, we hope to see you for some games in the future. Sounds Have a good great. Evening. Have a good night.